All right, so we currently still are camping at our seasonal site, and I wanted to share with everyone, Mr. Creature Feature did have to end up going to the vet again. He went originally because he had the bump on his leg, and they ended up giving us antibiotics to try to get rid of the bump that way. They said when they took the little needle biopsy of it that it didn't really come back like a normal tumor would, so they were gonna try getting rid of it as if it was just an infection. Unfortunately, it didn't work, so we actually ended up taking him in, and they said they definitely were gonna have to remove it. It was definitely a tumor. So, Fred dropped him off this morning at the vets, and they had the tumor removed. So, they're actually on their way back now, and so far he's doing very well. The vet did say if there are any further complications, he could unfortunately end up losing his leg. But right now we are hoping for the best because he is doing very well. And I'm very excited to see our little boy. Oh, daddy's home. Yeah. How exciting. Hi, future feature. Hey, buddy. I think you peed in there. Did you pee in there? How are you doing? How are you doing, buddy? Oh, look at the little cone on your head. Hi, buddy. How are you doing? Hi. Hey, that's my little trooper. Huh? Yeah, you're a good boy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Hold on. <laughs> Oh my, look at you. Look at that little bandage. How you doing? Huh? Look at your little ferret sized cone. Hey, 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 you can't play with him right now, okay? He's off limits. All right, we gotta set up a separate cage for you. Is it horrible? I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, look at that, poor little footsies. Look at your poor little footsies. Huh? We gotta make sure that heals and gets all better. Yeah. He's our cute boy. All right, so I got creatures set up in his little hospital cage. So we got this little crate for him. He's not supposed to have a ton of room. Oh yeah, you were hungry. So he's got a little hammock. I'm not sure he can get up there yet, so we're gonna see. Yeah, he might. So, food inside his cone. He's stuck in his cone. <laughs> so I got these shallow bowls in here. I tried using these clip-on bowls that I had in here, but they sat up too high and he couldn't get his head in there. So he was able to get water. You take the cone off from the heat so long as we're watching. Yeah, I know. Hey, that's my boy. That's my brave, brave boy. Let's move this so you have a little room to stretch out. A little room to stretch out. Maybe you need a bed instead. I need to get some smaller shallow cups. That's what you need. Alright, maybe this isn't going to work out with this in there. Alright, hold on. Let me lift that up. Let me lift that up. Let's pull that up for a little bit. Alright, what are you trying to do? I can't tell if you're trying to, what you're trying to accomplish here. <coughs> Trial and error. Trial and error here. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. Oh, you poor little dude. Okay. What if I hold it up for you to eat? Huh? Is that better? No? Any better? Now you can't reach it. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, there you go. There we go. Here yeah, we're figuring this out. We'll figure this out together. Because we're a team. We're a team player. <laughs> You're a good little boy. Yeah. Alright, so we just took the cone off. We're going to watch him and let him eat. Because we were, we were having some complications. We're going to let him eat and drink. I was like, that's much better, guys. I had all this food stuck in my cone. <laughs> Our brave boy. 
So he's got an antibiotic and a painkiller we got to give him? Yeah. How often for both? Uh, painkiller is the same as before, twice a day, three milligrams. You mean antibiotic? For the antibiotic and then the painkiller like once a day. Once a day? Morning for seven days. Okay. He's my cute boy. Is that yummy? You're probably so hungry. So hungry.